NHL, NFL, and the road to WrestleMania. We'll be back. Be back, bitches. ridiculous opinionated assholes? Yeah, I love that! Well, good. Take a knife, cut open your belly, and take out whatever gland that makes you offended and tune into www.loaded dice radio. Sundays between 3 and 5, right? That's right. We'll see you there. <laughs> That's hilarious! Tell me another one! LoadedDiceRadio.com Get your hands out of your pockets, boys. The charity strike is coming back. Oh, that's right. Just like Eric Bischoff's entrance music in WWE, we're back and we're better than ever. <laughs> I'm back! And better than ever. Got a neck for making things better. better. That's right. I forget the next thing. You what? I forget the next word. I, I got it. Don't you worry. See, I do know more about wrestling. Just <laughs> suck it. <laughs> the mid 2000s again, right here. Hey. But that was yeah. Hey, that was HLA. That was hot lesbian action. That's true. That was like the end of the good era. That's right. Anyway, still rebound. Still trigger Mike over there. All right, fine. And that's uh, midlife crisis. <laughs> We're back, you mealy mouth bitches. Sorry, I was distracted by your butt funneling uh, tweet over here. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> I scheduled that like hours ago. Uh, anyways, we got uh, many, many things to talk about. Road to WrestleMania, NFL free agency. But first, midlife's favorite subject. Yeah, All right. I love writing Zambonis. It's some Armenian guy named Zamboni. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I ride him all night long. You like to ride my chest hair. His name's Zambonian. Because oh, it always sorry. ends in I-A-M. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like the Swedish always ended in ski. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> or the Polish. <laughs> or the Polish. Thank you. He's Polish. One of the issues. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, so the, the Swedish in sh- the meatballs. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I love going there just with the meatballs. Oh, oh, man, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so Joe Thornton, who's the Sharks, well, former captain, uh, has been stripped of his captainness. <laughs> uh, I think that's a thing. And he's, he's no longer Captain America. He's just America. <laughs> America! <laughs> Fuck yeah. Um, for some reason, my iPad's not loading where I had the story shared. Uh-huh. Now you know his trick, people. iPad everything. How dare you? <laughs> just kidding. How well, didn't his... Man. Like, the, the GM came out and told the story of how he lost his captainship. And, well, uh, he got well, pissed the, off about it. Because he Cause crashed the captain, the, the, the boat, the ship crashed. But, right. It so said you can't be captain if you're going to crash our ship. But this happened in the off season. It didn't yeah. even need to be brought up, but the GM decided to bring it up. He said it was taken from him because uh, he was carrying all the weight. And he said, quote, he cares about the game so much. The reason we took off the took the sea off of him, uh, Joe carries the weight of the team on his shoulders. And he's got such a big heart that when the stress, when the stress comes on him... <laughs> Who's stress? Uh, he lashes out at people and it kind of impacts them. Uh, basically, Joe Thornton said, I think Doug needs to shut his mouth. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Know his He's role. Shut we, his we know someone who's not going to be in San Jose next year. Yeah. He's Ever? just not good for the team at all. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Joe Thornton, yeah, whoever you Joe are. Legendary you Joe Thornton shit. is no longer going to be a shark. Don't yeah. get mad at your Good GM. for him. He's, yeah. he's trying to do you the best that he can for you. Yeah. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. You know <laughs> I was like, are you really? <laughs> it's like, really? You know about this? <laughs> Midlife's giving Joe Thornton some advice. <laughs> best joke of the night. Midlife thinking or making me think he knew about hockey. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best joke. Uh, and also, uh, real quickly, I want to mention that the NLGM, NHL GMs, excuse me, are going to uh, have their spring meetings coming up here in a week or two. And one of the big talks is uh, turning overtime into a three on three competition. What do we think of that? NBA Jam style. I NHL enjoy overtime. it. It's different. It's It'd be something different. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Is that three on three plus goalie or is that two plus one? Or? I'm sure a goalie's going to be in there. So really four on four. It's three on three, one breakaway, and that's a score. Right. Might as well just do shootouts. That might, might give us a reason to watch the game. I'm hoping for another strike. Actually. <laughs> Please <laughs> do us a favor. Make it a couple years long this yeah. time. 
Maybe this time no network will bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> the hockey network. I know. I'll subscribe to that. <laughs> yeah. Why did uh, NBC have to fucking save their asses? I know. God damn it. God damn them. Anyways, that's that's all I got for hockey. Okay. So. Well, then. Uh, in thy music. Okay. <laughs> So uh, last week you brought up the whole story of Layla Ali yeah, saying did. that she would never lose to a woman. I think that was two weeks ago, but yeah, I did. That was last week. Oh, okay. That was last week. Your memory sucks. Remember? Was a long week. Leave what it memory? to me. What happened last week? <laughs> uh, TMZ, took her clothes off? TMZ asked <laughs> Layla Ali if she did, how, how a fight would go down between her and Ronda Rousey. She said that <clears> she would never lose to a, a female. Oh, ever. wow. Right. And then we discussed how right, that's what Ronda Rousey, unless it's a boxing match, would kill her, obviously. Clearly. Clearly. Well, uh, when pressed on whether she would fight Ronda Rousey, Ooh, she says, I'm, I'm retired. I'm not going to fight. She's retarded? She's retired. <laughs> retarded. <laughs> yeah. So, Too many blows uh, to the head? Well, Ronda Rousey said, okay, bring it. And she's oh, like, no, wow. I'm retired. I'm retired. Thank you very much. she tell me to bring it. Yeah. The Rock says just bring yeah, it. The Rock says just bring it. So yeah. I, I think we all kind of knew that this was never going to happen. Like I said, she just made the smart decision to say that so she'd get on air. She knew what she's doing. She's she's Ali's daughter. Ali was the man. He knew how to get on on the front page of every newspaper. He knew what he was doing. Just like Ernest the Cat Miller. He I am the, the greatest. greatest. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it was very clear that was never going to happen. Layla Ali is not going to do a fucking MMA fight because she has no idea. And Ronda Rousey is not a boxer. She's not going to come up and box the greatest female boxer of all time. And that would leave it to a street fight, and we know what happens there. I I know Layla Ronda black. Rousey do was not bring that up. <laughs> That's racist. Uh-oh. She's got guns. Though. I know what you were thinking. Ronda Rousey would beat her in a street fight because you wouldn't have an unsanctioned fight. Right. This is not Gold Dust versus Roddy Piper at <laughs> WrestleMania 13. Where they actually threw potatoes, man. Was Come it 13? On. It was 12. 12. I was close. That was the Shawn Michaels first title win. Mm. And they shot that at, rest- at uh, Universal Studios. Yeah. Earlier in the day. Earlier Did in you the think day. that they were driving yes. from there? Yeah. So uh, Layla Lee is not going to be down with that. Neither is Ronda Rousey. It's got to be sanctioned. The only way to have a sanctioned fight that doesn't involve boxing would be MMA. Ronda Rousey would rape her in the best way possible. Mm-hmm. Enough said. Would, would we like to see that hot, hot lesbian action? Hey, Layla Lee's she's pretty good looking. Yeah. She's not bad. She's pretty I mean, she's good pretty looking. She's pretty big, but she's not bad. But she's not fat. She's, no, just, she's, she's just, just a big, big person. She's like yeah. six foot something. She's huge. Yeah. She's a huge bitch. I met her. Anyways, there were fights this weekend. Bone. I know they weren't free midlife. I know you didn't watch. Uh, was UFC 185 two title changes? I'll get to the first one. Joanna uh, Yerzerzik. Do you want a man? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to say her name really still. So. New Intercontinental Champion? I was listening to it all fucking weekend, and I still forget it at this point. But it's... Uh, she dominated the Cookie Monster, Carla Esparza. So the to, Swedish chef beat the Cookie Monster? Yeah, to become... <laughs> it's a Sesame Street night. To become the 115-pound uh, female champion, the strawweight champion. The 1, 2, 3 ABC champion. But when, when Carla Esparza was coming down, I don't know if either... She, either she was scared, because I saw it in her face, mm-hmm. or she had an injury or she was sick and she knew she was going to lose because she had just that look in her eyes like uh, I'm going to lose. Yeah, and a champion doesn't I'm scared. A yeah. champion doesn't have that. If you're a champion you've gotten there by thinking you're the best and becoming the best. Maybe so. just was uh, hankering for some cookies. And in, at, at the This end fight th- sponsored by the letter F. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the fight when they do the pros fight interviews they always get the champ to do the losing champ to get the interview as well. And uh, they asked her. She's like, I'm, make, I'm not going to make any excuses. She was the best fighter. Usually that means there's yeah. probably something that was going on. She just doesn't want to have a blame for why she lost. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Stay, lay off the cocaine. Get back just on the ask, cookies. Just ask uh, John Bones Jones. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. One day in rehab, guys. That's hard. That's all it takes. Hey, hardcore. hey when you believe in God, that's all it takes. Guys, I think it's out of my system. Can yes. I piss real quick? Yeah. God, God's this guy. He says it's out of my system. <laughs> yeah, it's clean. <laughs> That was a throwback joke. I yeah, do cocaine like because God's four. in the clouds and clouds are white like cocaine. Hey, God's up sky. <laughs> yeah. Goodness. God's up sky. <laughs> that was what I said when I was four. <laughs> yep. all, all the time. <laughs> Before I knew it better. And now you say God's what? Not real. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you. I know. I'm wildly offended. Uh, anyways, but the shocker of the night. Um, this Anthony, is what I'm waiting for. Anthony uh, Pettis got dominated what? by Rafael Dos Anjos. Shock. It was... Dos Anjos, a guy who went from losing his first two USC fights to becoming the best 155-pound fighter in the world, the lightweight champion, 
it's been a remarkable comeback for this guy. If you've watched, as I have, I watched him from the very beginning when he got knocked out by Jeremy Stevens after he was dominating a fight. He gets, he loses to Clay Guida because he breaks his jaw and Clay Guida puts his shoulder oh, right in his... Oh, little Guido. Well, Guida put his <laughs> shoulder right in his jaw uh, in top mount. And yeah, I mean, if you have a broken jaw, you really can't do anything but tap out from there. But ever since then, this guy's put together an amazing run, beat Ben Henderson, beat uh, Nate Diaz... <laughs> That's my favorite street. Uh, and then finally, he becomes a lightweight champion in the world. The most. If you were to tell me a year ago that Rafael Dos Anjos this year would become the lightweight champion in the world, I would not fucking believe it. Hey, Mike, a year ago that this year, <laughs> Rafael Dos whatever is going to be the champion. What are his letters? F and U. <laughs> oh, I know those. Uh, anyway, so Rafael Dos Anjos, great job, buddy. I know great you're job. listening, so yeah. congratulations on becoming the lightweight This Sesame Street intro is full of retarded children. Like, literally. <laughs> like, people with Down syndrome. At least they can read the cue cards, all right? <laughs> they got, how do they read? They're, they're better than Down John syndrome. Travolta. Well, <laughs> Maybe, Sesame Street <laughs> Special Olympics now? Yeah, it really is. <laughs> and then finally, there's uh, the letter 14. <laughs> 11 team. <laughs> uh, anyway, so also on that card, uh, Johnny Hendricks, the former welterweight champion of the world, the one I was confused by last week. If God. I had told you a year ago that he would not be the champion anymore, would you be surprised by that? No, welterweights no. are stacked divisions. So. Oh, okay. Uh, he did dominate Matt Brown. That would also not be a surprise. Uh, that's what I, what I expected. I'd say. Alistair Overeem lasted three rounds and won a fight. He didn't get knocked out by Roy, Roy Nelson. He actually... Put a pounding on him, oh, and hmm. because he's not taking steroids anymore, he's nice and lean and can actually last three rounds at this point as well. Oh, that's nice. That's and then uh, Henry Cejudo, who I told you, the 125-pound prospect that was a great wrestler, who's who people want to become this great MMA fighter. pound prostitute? <laughs> yes. Those are my early days. Stop bringing those oh, up. Sorry. Uh, anyways, he he showed his promise. He made weight. Ooh. He made the 125 pound limit right on the dot. Didn't do that 126 shit, and he defeated Chris Carriasso, who just fought for the title. He dominated him 30-27. Oh wow! Won all three rounds, and uh, hopefully that's a good sign. And he'll become the next great MMA fighter in the 125 pound division. Mighty Mouse Johnson needs it because he's dominating everybody. He needs like he needs a challenger. So, and that is the fighting. No. Wow. <laughs> Are you surprised? Yes. It cut me off a little Phil Brooks music, yeah? If I would have told you uh, a year ago <laughs> that I'd still be letting Mike do his MMA news on the show, would you be surprised? I would be and, surprised. That I would do it without stumbling tonight? <laughs> you did? <laughs> did it with, well, I made a, missed one word. Which one? I can't remember. Oh, oh, God. Let's talk on. about real fighting news. Oh, yes. Happy 316, everybody. Happy 316. Thank you for putting the good music up. You're welcome. Said, oh, they're detoxing like a silly little jackass. <laughs> he said, hey, midlife, why what? don't you detox with me? And I said, uh-uh. What? <laughs> Anyways, it's Monday, March 16th. It's 316 316, day. bitches. Hashtag Stone Cold Day. We are celebrating full effect. We didn't have any Stone Cold news other than the fact that it's Stone Cold Day, but this is the road to WrestleMania. And because he's still way better than most of the roster now. Actually, uh, the whole roster now. Thank but, you. I was like, what do you mean? But, I mean, there's guys that are on par with him, like Daniel Bryan. There's guys who could be as good as Stone Cold, but the, you know, Vince won't push him. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's another story, another day. Um, speaking of the best, CM Punk, the best in the world. The man who took his ball and went home. That like, is. Fuck this shit. I'm, I'm tired of this bullshit. He wanted to be pushed and wouldn't let him. That's right. Push him off the edge. Uh, he is, as we know, trained to be an MMA fighter in the UFC. He wants With the former lightweight champion of the world, Anthony Pettis. If you'd have told me a year ago that Anthony Pettis would be the <laughs> former <laughs> champion of the world. Uh, he, he said, you know, as we know, Brock Lesnar, contract up the day after WrestleMania. Nobody knows who, who he's going to sign with, whether it be UFC, WWE. Still waiting to find out. I think we'll know whether he wins or loses at WrestleMania. The answer will be uh, dependent upon that. But he says he wants Lesnar to return not only to UFC but on the same card as CM Punk's debut, and it'll be the highest selling pay per view of all UFC history. Oh, yeah. If That's- you'd have told me a year ago that <laughs> CM Punk <laughs> was going to outsell any other UFC pay, I would have. I think you're crazy. You're making fun of it, but that's a true statement you're saying right there. Yeah. You, a year ago, you probably wouldn't have thought he's coming to UFC. Eh, probably. 
But if you're he, probably right. If he and uh, Brock Lesnar are on the same card, it is the highest grossing UFC pay-per-view. Uh,